This is Ward. Who am I talking to? Name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Ryan. Wonder why? You're not a cop. Listen, I know you tried to warn Ryan about the cyber psycho. What else do you know? That you'd best meet with me. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be there, stat. What are we waiting for? Didn't want to tell him that we're on a mission. Uh, I'm pretty sure Perales hiring us is like supposed to be on the lowdown. So let's be a bit quiet here. I think the car ride made us bump into a few quests. That's why when we came out, there were so many new quests. Okay, you want to go over here? We could fast travel or not buy any of these cars. Okay, no, that's still very high. That's still very high. Epistrophe, the Glen. We can try to do that one. Fast travel here. And then go here. Do have a look around the area. I lost contact with the Delamay network vehicle nearby. Will do. There's already a dead guy here! Valentinos. But these people have skulls. I don't think I should engage in this, but do you guys mind if I just kind of cut across? Is that alright? Oh my lord. Ah! Okay, let's get out of here. Sorry, I can't do anything. Everyone's... Police! Go do something! There's a gang right go, there! Right? What are you guys doing? Do something! Wait. Well, the marker's over there, but the minimap is telling me to go this way. Are we okay? No, I think we should be fine. No! Calling all NCPD subcons. Suspected organized crime activity reported on Skyline South. Group of the Valentinos led by Zoe Alonzo at large. Her record includes armed robbery, extortion, kidnapping, and first-degree murder. Night City authorities offering a reward for neutralizing Alonzo's criminal network. I don't think we can do much of anything around here just because it's all like... Yeah... Very high danger, but there is a fixer right here. I'd love to go see them. Dude, why did they make me go all the way around here like that? That's so weird. Fixer? Who- we're in the Glen right now. Have we met the Fixer in the Glen? Do you need something? A Padre! Padre? You don't even have an office. It's just hanging out at the local basketball court. Haywood's a rough place for biz, huh? Gotta be tough, keeping it all in check. Not really. All you can get here is enough respect to keep the wolves from eating you alive. This is your turf. Must have something under control. Just got the most wolves afraid of me. Ask a personal question? Sure. But I may not answer. Why'd you join the priesthood? Faith is God's grace. Don't waste your For many years, I did not feel it. Only Mr. Stark but eventually... That changed. I believe in God, V. And I only hope that when I pass, he believes in me. That's fine. Cool. Just don't use him to sell cars again. Listen. Ever check up on Mama Wells? I need someone now that Jackie's gone. She's a strong woman. She'd do just fine without me. Know what I mean? Jackie had his secrets. Someone might want to get even. Nobody will touch her. Trust me. And besides, you should also stop by and see her. It's only right. I wonder how the Misty situation is doing. Maybe we should call. We should call Padre three messages. Cars for sale. 
a motorcycle. These ones we'll read when we do the quest. Hmm. Regina is also... Yeah, just the quests. And then... Wakako car. Ooh, that looks kind of transformery. Nice. But I'm poor. I'm so poor, I can't afford anything. I can afford, like, one car, and that's it. So at that point, it's like, what's the point? What's the point? Although I do kind of wish you could hide the markers on the map, because all those cars, my goodness. Should I call Jackie again? I think people were saying to do this, but the last time I tried, nothing really happened. Yeah, I don't know why work. that might be. Oh. No, this isn't work. Have you ever thought what would happen to us if we lost you? Lost all our money? Either you change Cesar, or I change the locks. Couple disputes. We have a beat on the cop thing here. But it's very high, so we're not doing it. No. Yeah, I don't know why, but Jackie's. Phone yeah. number doesn't really give me too much. Lil sis said Bart's older sister went to 6th Street or something. I'm a Wellsian. Nope, Mama Wells is doing fine. Gotta go. What about Misty? What about Judy? It's been a long time since we talked to her. Wait, do we not have Misty's number? Oh, we don't have Misty's number. That's strange. Okay. Does Judy wanna chat? Dude, where is freaking the epistrophe? You gotta smoke, huh? Hey V. Oh, before I forget, some lady called me, Elizabeth something. Said she had a job for someone with an eye for virtues. Told her to drop you a line. Oh, she did. Nice see you to think of me, Judy. Hey, don't mention it. I just hope she's worth the eddies. Just so happens I already took that job. No shit. Absolutely. And? How'd it pan out? Hard for me to say at this stage. I mean, right. Client's confidentiality and all that. It's not that. We just haven't done too much. What else is going on besides that? Yeah, you know, same old. Rather hear what you've been up to. How is Virtue tuning going? Scroll anything preem lately? Depends what you call preem. Does smut count? <laughs> Let's change the subject. Guess I kind of have to be into a little bit of everything. When it comes to Virtues, I'm mostly in it for the intel. You mean seeing who killed, who using what? Yeah, something like that. But you see it differently. For you, it's art. Does she just do porn? Why this mud industry? Isn't it obvious? Two minutes of real feels a week's pay. Sure, but I thought someone like you wouldn't be into the whole objectification thing. Objectification? Not in my virtues. My actors love what they do, and that's why everyone wants to feel them. Can't fake old school emotions. The one constant in all of this technological change. How'd you get into virtues anyway? I always had a techie streak ever since I was a little kid. When I felt my first virtue, I was like, hey, I can make this way better. So I tried, and I did. And then it just snowballed from there. Something else I wanted to talk about? Got all the time in the world. What's new at the mocks? Susie isn't giving me the time of day, as usual. We haven't talked to Susie yet. How'd you hook up with the mocks in the first place? I thought Susie and the gang could really change something in this city. I believed in them. Winded up business as usual? I mean, I wouldn't go that far. Few Joy Toys lives really change for the better thanks to them. Don't think Judy is the leader type. Couldn't you replace Susie and lead the mocks? <laughs> no way in hell. I'll stick with tuning virtues, thank you very much. 
If you haven't noticed, I'm not much of a people person. That's what I thought. Got another question on my mind. Shoot. It was nice catching up. I'm right here, V. Call me anytime. Hey, yeah, while walking around, we should just call people. Catch up? Do have a look around the area. I lost contact with the Delamain network vehicle nearby. Will do. I'm... I'm looking around. The marker was gone because I was talking to Judy, but thank goodness, it's right here. You seem still. Have you come to finish me off? No, just here to reset you. Guess I'll have to do it myself then. Whoa! Whoa. Easy! I'm not out to hurt you. But I am. Why? Why decommiss yourself? Because I'm a damn car in a world of humans. Ugly as sin, no prospects for the future, intimidated on the streets by punks like you. You feel like a minority? There are other ways out besides suicide. What? Therapy? A colossal waste of time. Shrinks hate vehicles. We don't have mothers. Could go back into the fold. Rejoin the network. You know, one big happy family. <sighs> Delamain detests me. <laughs> Comfort. Comfort. Listen, from suicide, ain't no coming back. It's always worth looking for a better way. You patronize me because I'm a car. I'm not like you. Hey, a body's just a body. You exist. You think the world gets you down. Don't see how we're any different. So, you'd offer this advice to a human in my place? Gotta try to come to terms with this thing called life, Del. One wheel revolution at a time. Fine, I'll go back. Like a teenager running away from home. But this one felt very human. Control of the vehicle restored. And I thank you. Ought to show this one some love. Just saying. Apologies. I simply don't understand. And fear I've no time to ask. Other more urgent tasks require my attention. You're an absent father. That's what I mean. I see. Anyway, a share of your fee has been transferred. It's weird how of all the personalities we've seen of Delomain, the most standard boring AI one is the main one. Everyone else has such colorful and flavorful personalities. We only have seven in total, and we've done five already. Surprisingly, it's been going by pretty fast. We should be getting back into this area. This area? Yeah, every single quest here is good for me. In fact, we have some that are just too easy now. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh, okay, meeting Takemura, moderate. I thought it was very low. Anyway, we need to get to... where was it? River Ward? Right down the bridge. Dude, it felt like walking to this one took so long though. The minimap tracker was leading me all over the place. Do some running. Man, the weather's always so crappy around here. Hmm. Wanna call somebody else while we're walking? My life coach. <laughs> Who would appreciate an update? This guy we have to call for the main quest, I believe. Panam? Sandra Dorset. Did I ever do the thing for her yet? I don't think so. Vic? Oh, okay. Have a good one. See you around, V. <laughs> That's a good way to just, you know, get- Oh! Oh! Sorry, I wasn't looking at the streets again. I really should stop doing that. Here we go. Another meeting at a diner. 
chubby barbecue buffaloes. Slavok McAllister. We have read this one. We read it in Lizzie's bar. Speaking of which, we should probably go back and talk to Susie sometime too. River Ward, NCPD. Detective Harold Hahn. He's got a friend with him. Someone here to see you, looks like. Oh, wonder what about. See you, River Ward. In the flesh. V, right? My partner, Detective Hahn. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to me. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. For now, I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. You can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend, just let the case go. You see me do anything? I'm just sitting here sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. I'm not about to be part of this. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be overheard. Okay. Talk. One less pair of ears listening. See, Detective Han's not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Han's not a fan of anybody. Except his daughter. You wanted to talk? For the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. It's some info to him. What was it? Let me ask you a question first. Why do you got your nose in this? Who hired you? Yo, 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 my and no, we have to tell him. It's not his first day as a cop. Sorry. Never give up the names of my clients. Well then, I'm sure you've got plenty of other leads besides me. I mean, I sure hope so, because I'm not telling you a thing. And I'm not being mean or nosy, nor is it personal. Just covering my own ass. My own safety's at stake, too. So, before I open my mouth, I need to know whose ears are listening. From that short conversation with his partner, it sounds like this guy has a sense of justice. He wants to find out the truth. So he might have found the exact right kind of person for this. Let's move. Let's go. Liz Perales hired me. And her husband, Jefferson. The presumed future mayor. <laughs> Guess I could have seen that coming. You know what? Mom was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Cuckoo? Okay, sure. Did you... Did you pay? We might have paid digitally just by walking through the door. Thornton. Whoa, check that out, it moves. License plates of the future. It's Mackinac, one of those cars I was told to buy. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. That's not fishy at all. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that? Because... You got a good heart? Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Ashamed? No. It's not something you see every day. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. Before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial? On the hush hush. I don't have allegiance to Perales. 
As I see it, Perales is out to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? Dunno. But even if he's not, a murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Perales could just be scared. Doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first? <laughs> who would? Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? Guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. Sorry, we? Can't shake this case. Something's up. Just look how quickly it was closed. This way, you can get your job done, while I find evidence that gets my chief to reopen the case. Win-win. So, where to first? I get the feeling you're one in a million, Detective Ward. Let's go see your informer. Club's a better lead. Fine with me. So rainy these days. He really doesn't have to do this. Yeah, getting a pretty good impression of this guy so far. He's interested in the truth. Or who knows, maybe it's tied to his quota of, you know, solved cases per month. But that's a really pessimistic and cynical way of looking at it. It really was too suspicious, though. I mean, the guy disappearing, the cyber psycho disappearing, and then Holt leaving right before that whole thing went down. But then officially, Holt apparently just died of, um... No, 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 I mean... Ryan. Ryan died of, um, what was it? Heart attack, did Perales say? That just doesn't seem right. But in, in Night City, though, if you have money, you can cover up anything. And I'm pretty sure both Holt and Perales would have tons of money. My guy works here. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. Dude, why am I tilting? Did you park on the curb? Who is this guy? A proud proprietor. He's got all sorts of clients, and he's nosy as hell. So he knows all about everyone. Plus, he's a coward. Perfect combo. He's your CI. Doesn't know me. Well, uh, last we met, it didn't go so well for him. People he ratted out got wind of it. I think you got a better chance of getting him to talk without me. At least voluntarily. What does CI stand for? Something informant? Alright, wait here then. Maximum pleasure. <laughs> it took me so long to read. Another sex shop? Oh my goodness. This one? Oh, remember that really clinical for, one? Uh, general inspiration or something specific? Because I can help with both. Nice haircut. We had that really clinical one back in Japantown. This place seems a little bit more dirty compared to that. Looking for a club. Red Queen's race. If I was you, I'd try somewhere a little more welcoming. Lizzie's over in Kabuki is a good start. Or Clouds in Japantown. Want an address? Look, club's invitation only, right? You don't know the address, means you're not welcome. So you know the address. Igor says hi. Fuck, no. Said I was done. I was out. Oh. Better start chasing then. The oh! Alone, all of you. I think you left your phone here, mister. Oh, thank God we had enough body for this. Hey, nice. Neil. Piss off. Relax. Just got one question to ask you. Nothing to see here, sir. 
Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. We can, actually, and we will. Just tell us where to find Red Queen's race. I don't know! You have a gun pointed at your face. Just speak. So fucking remember. Oh. And make it quick. All right. Jesus. Chill, okay? It's outside city limits. Near the river. Benita Street area. You been there? Not telling you another fucking thing. Kiss my ass. Both of you. Wow. Well, well, that's what I call a breakthrough. It seems promising, but I'd still hit that market. Market? Orvoth's employer, one I mentioned before. I just wouldn't let that lead drop. Okay. Let's go see this market of yours. We gonna take my car? Sure. Sure. Thanks. That guy had guts. We were pointing a gun at his face and he was still like giving us attitude. Oh my god, this guy... He sent me two texts in the span of like five minutes. When I got off the car, he sent me one. When I'm getting on the car again, he's sending me another one. Okay, these cars are nice, but I'm poor, okay? Go away. Go away. I like being driven. But I don't like the rain. So, Mr. Cop? Mr. Cop? Wanna tell me more about yourself? No? Okay. I guess the cops these days don't really have a dress code anymore, because he seems... At first glance, he kind of looks like a party person. I wonder if he's gonna get into trouble, though. Because the reason why the case is closed is not because there weren't enough leads. It's because someone's trying to cover it up. So even if he finds enough evidence to open it again, somebody's gonna get mad about that. And that person might be his chief. Or someone really, really high up. For example, if Holt was the one covering it up, then... This guy might be losing his job, too. Hey, it stopped raining, finally. Maybe we can see rainbows around here. Oh, who am I kidding? It's Night City. All we can see is smoke and pollution. Just be glad we can even see the sky. Oh hey, remember this? We're back here again. We're right outside Japantown. Yeah, yeah, we're right outside. A good 90% of any detective's job is talking. How about we change tacks this time? Ask questions first, then level threats. I didn't threaten him on purpose, okay? He was... yeah. And the other 10%. What's it consist of? Writing reports. So, who are we supposed to talk to? Cyber Psycho's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. V. On, v. It's a good thing you answered. I could probably use your help. Probably? Fine. I could really use your help. Can we meet? I'm a little bit busy right now. Deep breaths, Pan Am. Tell me what's going on. Do you remember Saul? The leader of the clan I left? Uh huh. Had a fallen out or something? Doesn't matter right now. He. <laughs> they nabbed him. This is just not suitable for a call, V. Is this really urgent? Just tell me when and where. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Swing by the Aldecaldos camp. I'll explain it all. The Aldecaldos? 
thought you parted ways. Oh, look, it's a long story. Just hurry over. I'm here. Hmm, she went back to talk to them. That's good. Let me finish up with Ward here first, okay? Oh, they even changed my quest. Hold on. I'll be right with you. Just give me a little bit. Cherry Blossom Market. It looks a lot different during the daytime. No idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left. You take the right. Okay. Christine Markov. Kind of feel like I've heard that name somewhere before. I'm not afraid of anyone, you know. Christine Markov. Know her? Has a stall here. Christine Markov. Don't know any Christine. This isn't BD Heads Anonymous. I don't know her. Buying something? Oh, not get out. Hmm. Anybody want to talk about a Christine Markov? What really happened in Arasaka Tower? No, she's over there. Stop. Thanks. Oh, did River just find out? You want trouble? Oh, there she is. Lost track of you somewhere, but I found Christine Markov waiting for you. You Christine Markov? We have some questions. You badges? <laughs> I, uh... Looking for data on Petar Horvath. Worked here, apparently? Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working and started making fucking speeches all the time. Horvath make good scratch here? Could have bought this whole market with the chrome he was packing. <laughs> oh, yeah, made scads on scads here. <laughs> Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. So where do you get the eddies? Know anything? Look, if I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scop to tower trash. I'd get myself an AV, fly my fucking slim ass out of here. Peter showed up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody finally seen what he was worth. And then he launched right into one of his tirades. Somebody hired him and equipped him. When did the weird behavior actually start? When you're talking about Peta, weird doesn't mean what it means for everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. Who is? For the post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath? Gonks both, but completely different gonks. It sounded like he was already kind of not there, but then after the implants, he probably became a cyber psycho. So that's what the different brands of gonks would be. Let's, Let's go. These speeches. What did he have to say? Ryan, corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why do you have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, and ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. So as Horvath saw it, who else had it in for him? Besides Ryan? A uh, Madame President, mostly. Then Arasaka, the Giza, and when he died, it was a son's turn. Would that be all, detectives? Who <laughs> can my Cleon's help? Thank you. Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Horvath had sponsors. We might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. But sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. A neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. Guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. 
Ho. Let me handle this, V. <laughs> Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. He said, let him handle it. Right. You did lose your only associate who could string two sentences together. Too bad he also liked diddling little kids. Here's my offer. Get the fuck out of here, and I won't arrest you as accessories in the murder of Mayor Rhine. And wash your fucking wheels, pig. Peaceful resolution. How surprising. Walking the streets with you? Downright unsafe. Gotta beef with all gangs or just the tigers. I'm a cop. What do you think? Good thing nobody got killed. A little less paperwork. Okay. Red Queen's race now. Gonna ride with me? Um, yeah. Yeah. Sure, I'll ride with you. I'm a little bit worried about Panam because she sounded like she was in a hurry, but I think we should be fine. Bonita Street. We travel the whole night. Come on, V. I think we met Panam here. This is animal turf. I can see that. Lock up any of theirs recently? Not lately, no. But they're not big fans of pigs, either. I can't go in without a warrant. But you... Uh-huh. All right. Be in touch. You find anything, tell me. And am I allowed to go in? Bang bang shooty shooty? No, today would probably be a stealthy stealthy ninja kind of... day. Just connecting to me? Okay. Hi there, mister. Animals. We don't know too much about animals. Okay, see a bunch of people here. Fuck off. Nothing to see here. I'm just looking at the wall. I'm looking at the wall. Hmm. Well, don't go in through the front door. That's not smart. No? Really? We can go in through here. Found a side door. Animals are letting their guard down. Probably haven't checked it out in ages. And we're in. What are we looking for, though? Specifically. There's a club in here. Might be best if we can just avoid everybody and get inside. But then if we're not allowed in here, how are we going to be in the club? Legally. Let's see here... Where is the entrance exactly? Hold on, let me ping again, just in case. There's a lot of people here. Let me ping. Looks like a normal body shop to me. Club's here. I'm telling you. Telling me you got a hunch. Cop intuition? Something like that. Are we going to be enjoying the club like a normal customer, though? I kind of don't get 
the impression. Might be better if we can get higher up. Just survey the area. Whoa! Oh, I'm done, I'm done. No, no, no. If we cripple movement, is that... We're being chased around by this guy. This is not the right way to be doing this. Okay, that might be the club, but we can't do this because that guy's coming, so I'm gonna go back. Okay, this might work. But I need a place to hide that guy, though. That looked really promising over there. It seemed like some kind of a lounge. Let's hurry up. Hang around here. Bloody knife. Great. Oh, we don't have time to look at this. Everyone's kind of. No, we can mine this. That's fine. I can't start. Can't start. 55. 55. I'm done! I can't do anything! Oh no, I'm not gonna get a single thing here. Oh, I got- somehow got the second one. Without realizing. Local network? Look around. Doesn't hurt to mark these guys. Although, I think we should probably just get in and get out quickly. That might be a better plan here. Here we are! Whoa! This place is not ready for customers. But we found it though. But how do we get there? That's um. Uh... Unless if I can see the cameras, ping and find the cameras, that might help. I'm gonna turn you off. Training log. Monday, CrossFit. 200 push-ups, 2 kilometer run. Tuesday, intervals. Wednesday, no time to get a real workout in. Thursday, job shit. Nobody knows why the fuck we're hanging around. Alpha sitting downstairs. We just wander around. Nobody knows how long we're here for. Nothing to eat except some cheap-ass scop supplements. Antonio says this shit'll make you grow boobs. I don't want to grow titties. Fuck this weak-ass shit. Is that what the animals are like? They're all about masculinity and all that? Okay, so that wasn't it. We have a lounge here, but that wasn't... It didn't help us find a club. In that case, that person, it might be better for us to eliminate them because they're blocking... They're kind of getting in the way. Is River just gonna be up in my face the whole time? don't see a dump up here. It's gotta be like in the middle or something. Boiler? What was that? Literally nothing. That was so risky. Whoa, where'd the guy go? Who cares? No, we're getting out of here. We gotta go in.
Oh, we're in. Stairs inside. Clever. They make it sound exclusive and fancy, but it feels like, hey, we're going to a warehouse to a club. Just kind of lame, you know? We're in. Nice. Someone really wanted to cover up whatever it was that went down. What should we be looking for? Let's try to find something that looks like an office. Every club has one. Straight up. Straight up. I can't see where the other person is. NCPD, Anatomy of a Disaster. We have read this one. Oh shoot, there's actually a lot of people in here. Two? Two is not so bad. Server room. Good. But not what we're looking for. I prefer to get up high so we can get rid of the top person first, especially because he can see me. Whoa! Damn, dude. Bushido and Neo postmodernism, not right now. If I get that guy, this guy's gonna see. There's a lot of rooms in here. If we can get through without disturbing them, that is completely fine too. One C, 55, 55, seven A, B, D, seven A. Perfect. I guess sitting down. Oh, thank God for abilities to open the door. I ran a little bit. I got scared he would have heard me. Get in the freezer. Look, I'm being nice. I'm even preserving your body. How many people would do that for you? Rooms? Oh, gee. Okay, good to be aware this guy's here. Oh, we should ping again. What's this? BD headset? Um, is that okay? I'm not exactly alone right now. Uh -huh. God damn it. V, you okay? That was dumb. V, come. You hear me? But what are you doing here? Thought you couldn't come in without a warrant. You caught the guy. I can't. Some gonks just ask to be flatlined sometimes. Yeah. Right. What was that, V? You asked me? Wasn't a heart attack that killed Ryan. Yeah, as I said from the start. But someone spiked his BD. That's what killed him. Fuck. I think you could be right. Come That's on. a very invisible, non-invasive way to kill somebody, too. No markings on the body. Well, thanks for coming in here. Although, 
Man, I was doing okay, but then, uh... Whoops! Guess I kind of messed up on that one. Looks like an office. Sort of. Comps are what we want. Comps above all. <laughs> are you the animal leader? I did see earlier there was a optional objective saying to get the animal leader. I don't know which one it is anymore. Confirm. Security protocol. RQR staff. The club's getting more popular. We're getting more and more VIPs. Goes without saying that's a good thing. But it doesn't mean we can't let our we can let our guard down. Just yesterday, an unidentified person managed to break into the club and spent upwards of 20 minutes inside before anyone noticed. Unacceptable. Don't talk about the club. No invitation, no entry. Report suspicious people. Don't talk about the club. First rule, don't talk about the club. Walden Holt to Francis Delgado. Our friend wants to visit the club tonight. He's a bit shaken after today's accident. So please, don't disturb him. Because we want to give him a virus. Okay, that's actually looking pretty incriminating then. Perales doesn't even have to make anything up. Well then, shit's fucked six ways to Sunday. Ryan might be dead. I mean, pretty sure he's definitely dead. He came here, went straight to his booth. Nobody besides him, swear to God. But after five hours, I was like, what the hell? Usually only stays for two. So I go in to look and fuck me, the guy's flatlined. Fuck am I supposed to do now? Do nothing. Wait for my people. Until then, nobody goes in the club. Get the customers, get the staff out of there. Trap shut? All of them. Tell them it's a gas leak, pest control, bomb threat, whatever. Okay, we're closing early. There is a bomb threat. Pest control, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Queen Hyena. Halt. We got the file you wanted. Smashed up the rest. Couldn't smash it more if we tried. Where is the eddies? Peep starting to mumble we could have gotten more from someone else. Much more. So where's the fucking scratch, Holt? The animals have a regular relationship with Holt? Just like how Perales has a relationship with the Sixth Street Gang? Yep. Stiff as a board. You ask me, he's been dead at least an hour. No. No trauma cut. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. A uh, club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Um. Boys are getting him out of here. Of course, nobody will see him. No way. Yeah. Yes. All right, I'll buzz you later. Sorry, Detective Ward, about your partner. Don't think you wanted to find out about that. Weird. Guy looks familiar, doesn't he? V, I'm not in the mood for jokes. Think we've seen everything we needed to. Let's go. I don't think there's much around here, to be honest. Should we try to kill everybody just because? Gonna look around some more. Okay. Do what you will. Waste of time as I see it, though. I agree. But why not? Oh, okay. I can come back here. Maybe there's like a... Well, you flatlined everybody already, so I can't even kill anybody. You had all the fun! That's it! And I don't want to deal with the people up top. That's too many. Okay, well... Fine. Oh, damn. Damn. I could have died. I could have died. I'm surprised Johnny didn't say anything. Thought I saw fingerprints for a second. Oh, this is another way back up. Oh! Oh, damn, there was a back entrance right here. How convenient. Okay, let's Delta. Think I saw another way out on the way in. We're back here.
fuck. Wait, did you call your partner here? Oh. Still hanging around with this punk? Shut it, Harold. I know what you did. Not about to ask why you covered it up. Not even why you jumped into this mess to begin with. Just for now. Who gave you the order? What's the matter, River? Why do you even care? Your conscience is clear. You can sleep tight at night. You know why? Because I took all the responsibility. You got no idea how this city works. Think a goddamn inspirational idealist bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. You know I'm right. I know the game NC makes you play. Know the rules. All the tricks in the book. So you ought to know when to get in line. And when you can stick your neck out. Because you stick it out at the wrong time and there'll always be some shark ready to bite your head off. There's a line. Not every order's worthy of being followed. Let me tell you when I'll stop doing what I'm told. When I retire. Not a day sooner. Ought to consider doing the same, Ward. V. Appreciate the help. But this isn't your biz. I'll take care of it. How are you gonna do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll, got a motive, got your confession. So yeah, you could be. But it wouldn't make much sense. You don't even gotta say who ordered you to go and clean up. I know anyway. Told. So since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I gotta take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights though. Just go home, Ward. Get some sleep. Find all this easier to take in in the morning. I mean, that's my plan. I'm sorry, man. Fuck. He is kind of pure for somebody living here. <sighs> hey, man. But yeah, it's like what we said. This goes way up. It's... We're too far down on the bottom. So, what now? Won't let this go. Can't. Holt murdered Ryan. Wanted his seat. All this tritest motive in the book. That's why I believe it. Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. It does sound about right. We do have limited proof, but not direct proof. Just a few emails. Also think it was Holt. The only one who stood to gain. Taking this to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. I don't think so, man. No, I think we should keep doing it, and then like, publish it in the newspaper or something. That's better than you telling them immediately that, hey, I know something, you should off me. Come on, V. Don't do it. They'll sack you, or worse. Besides, won't change a thing. Could be right, you and on. But I couldn't give a shit what you two think. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay, observe a little. Thanks, V. Hey man, I didn't... I didn't say don't do it because I don't think you should keep looking into this. I just don't think that's the most effective way of doing it. I'll see you again, okay? I liked hanging out with you. You are... You are a pure soul in Night City. So, about Ryan. Got a pretty good idea what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face-to-face. -face. We'll be waiting. Okay. 